Okay, first off, thank you to the viewers who helped my new book, Fishing the Edge, Techniques and Tales from Surf, Boat, and Kayak, uh, get to be labeled a bestseller on Amazon. It's just been out for a week. Um, if you'd like to learn more about the book or purchase a copy, you can at johnskinnerfishing.com and on Amazon. Okay, this is a very cool video. This is a drone that you can drive underwater, much different than the previous drone that I had. It's a Gladius Mini uh, made by Chasing. And wow, this thing, uh, can, I can drive it around, you know. I can move around and look for stuff. So, hey, two parts to this video. First part, I'm going to be uh, exploring. Uh, there's uh, a section I've been fishing recently because I couldn't fish what I wanted to. There were boats on it. So I've been fishing a new part, and I, I want to check that out, see what it looks like underwater. And actually, this is the first time I'm using the drone for real. I did a brief 10-minute test in a marina. But look at this. Um, look at that thing cruising along just under the surface. You know, at this point, I'm, I'm testing it. I want to see what this can do. And uh, even in significant current, no problem. So hey, down we go. And in the second half of this video, I'm going to watch how the fish are responding to a baited jig. Hey, this is a cool thing. I see something. I hit the brakes. I turn. There it is. A ghost pot. Ah, uh, this is just wonderful. Um, and there's a rock behind it. I'm, I'm just zeroing in on um, this newer rock, set of rocks, actually, uh, that I've been fishing. And All right. Oh, here we go. And there's a link to the drone in the video description. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. So I'm surprised that the fish don't just bolt from this thing. It's a bright yellow thing. Boy, uh, you know, uh, they're not spooking at a distance, that's for sure. You have to drive it right into them to, to get them to move. Uh, that very surprising. All right, my first point of interest, I, I knew there's one large rock here that comes about 10 feet up off the bottom, and there it is. So I want to get a good look at this thing and uh, see what's around it and how it's shaped and all of that. Wow, this is a lot like scuba diving without having to put all the gear on and get wet. Now, I've been a certified diver for a long time, so I've dove around blackfish for many years. You see those cracks, those little crevices in the rocks? I've noticed that the places that hold blackfish the best when I would dive um, would, would be rocks like this as opposed to rocks that are just smooth. Um, so that this is really of interest to me to see that, and I want to get in there and look at that a little closer. Yeah, I mean, it's, um, you know, you can see it's kind of like cracked and there's crevices. And obviously that's good because stuff, you know, little crabs and all kinds of life can be in there. And, and that attracts the blackfish. So, uh, you know, already, I'm, you know, this, this spot's going to really bubble, bubble to the top of my list because uh, it just looks that good. So the control of the drone is easy. I mean, this is the first time I'm swimming around any kind of structure. You can see I, I can just go right over it. Um, no problem not running into things. And, yeah, well, look at those, those blackfish on the backside here. And, of course, it's a tethered drone. I mean, anytime you're going to have a live video feed, which I've got going to the phone, um, you know, you're going to have a tether on there. There's no way to do that wirelessly. Now this is going to surprise me here. Not so much that there was a bass, but um, that it just, it, you know, it didn't seem spooked by this. You know, when I dive, if you have a tank on, those stripers spook. That's why spear fishermen, uh, you know, they generally are, are free diving, but the bass definitely spook from the bubbles. But that one didn't seem to care too much about the drone. Oh, 
Well, now you'll get to see where the truly big blackfish lives. You see that cave in there? Now, it's hard to see, but the white, look, focus for white, that's the chin. That's one thing, but as it turns, it's the tail, the size of the tail. That's a huge fish under there. <laughs> There's no way I'm ever going to catch that thing. You know, if you hook it, it's probably going right back in there. All right, I think I'm going to solve the mystery of the golden blackfish. And here is what I believe is right there. You've got all that gold, that, that yellow on the sides of these rocks. And look at how beautifully that color on the blackfish blends in with that. You know, people have said, oh, it's, you know, it's from the, the rust on, on wrecks. But there's no wrecks around, not, not close to this. Um, but there's plenty of yellow on the rocks, and I see those golden blackfish. They blend in beautifully against that. So, yep, that's the theory I'm going to stick to for now as to why um, I catch golden blackfish in this area. All right, now I'm going to use the drone to record fish reacting to a baited jig. But first, uh-oh. Keep them out of there. That's... It's going to be one that wants to go to the rock. He's going for it too. That's where it is. And you got your trolling motor. You can tighten up if you have to. Netter? Yeah, netter. Ooh, nice fish. Okay, walk up, walk forward so I can drop it in or wherever. Nice fish. So he, he's got to go back. We're not keeping that one. It's too big. That's yeah, too big. Yeah, we don't need to keep a big one like that. Good fish. Well, he put him out. He looks tiny that way. Yeah, there you go. Well, yeah, go ahead. All right, let him go. Nice one. Wow, I haven't caught one that big in a long, long time. All right. All right. Okay, we're recording. All right, that's my brother Bob, and uh, he only fishes for blackfish around twice a year, and usually it's because I, I take him out. Um, so yeah, he's going to do some things with the jig here that, you know, somewhat inexperienced because this isn't something he does a lot of and, uh, but it's, it's good. I'll be able to point these things out and, uh, basically he's moving the jig too much. Just set that jig on the bottom, make contact with it, with your line. Do not apply pressure and wait through all the little hits when you see all these fish down here. And it's peck, 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 peck. Don't swing at that stuff. Wait until the jig swims away. Hey, we're going to see examples here of um, both the right thing and the wrong thing. And uh, you know, you're going to see here where um, you know he'll just be um, at times, you know, pulling it away like that. You got to wait till the fish picks it up, and then you're going to see him do it right. You're going to see that right here. And here's what I was seeing on the video while that was happening. Porgy's got it now. Oh, Porgy's got it right in his mouth. Yeah. yeah, there's a good drop. Look at that. Oh, come on, leave it on the bottom. Leave it on the bottom. Stop. There you go. There they go. Blackfish got it. <laughs> uh, that's funny. So there, there's really not much of a delay. My other drones got quite a delay, uh -huh. but this this one that was pretty real time. That was pretty real time. Because when I told you to, you know, because when you pick it up a little, the porgies will go after it. But if you lay it on the bottom, as soon as you laid it on the bottom, then, then the blackfish went over to it. And it was so clear that the blackfish had it in his mouth. <laughs> so after we did all this, we, we then just fished and uh, we had a great trip. And it was interesting. I mean, you see all these porgies down here. Um, he caught about 10 porgies. And I caught none, which is a good thing. You don't want to be messing with the porkies when you're trying to catch these nice blackfish. Um, and, it, and it's because he's moving it, and, and I'm not. And if you just set it on the bottom, you'll wait and wait 
the blackfish come. You know, you're not waiting long. You're waiting 10 seconds or something. But it takes some time for them to uh, to get in there, whereas those porgies are right on it. And, boy, it looks like the blackfish move the porgies out because now that it's been down a little bit, you see mostly blackfish. I'm not really seeing any porgies there. There's one. Uh, all those little things, I believe, are juvenile sea bass. Um, I'm quite sure that's what they are. If anybody knows differently, mm, I'd, I'd like to know, but I think those are all juvenile sea bass. All right, you're going to see him set the hook here when he shouldn't, right there. Why set? But now he's going to do exactly the right thing. Oh, I got them all now. I got the whole picture here with the jig and the fish and the whole nine yards. I hear the Albies, yes. Okay, just let it sit. There's like four, there are four blackfish on it right now. Get them, get them, get them. <laughs> Figuring that you would see them pick it up, move it, and then hit it. That would be more valuable. Hey, as with any kind of drone um, that you're controlling on your, on your phone, which is typical, uh, you know, you got to deal with the sun glare. Uh, if anybody's got a good tip on how to deal with that, I'm, I'd love to know because, yeah, the, the glare is a problem. That's why I'm tucked behind that seat. I'm trying to stay in the shade. All right, a big lesson coming up here. You know, you, you put a jig down. And, um, you know, maybe it's just peck, 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 but you get a lot of little hits and hits and hits and hits. And you know what? They pick all the good stuff out of the shell. And what you're going to see is there's a nice, you know, chunk of stuff there. But this is going to just get hit. In this situation with this many fish, if that jig's down there for like, you know, a minute or something, it's it's cleaned out. And um, there's really nothing for them to want to eat. And you're going to see that. If you just watch here, you're going to see how they just completely lose interest in this bait because they've cleaned it out. So when the bait's been down there under these circumstances for a little bit, um, you need to change it. And it was worth noting that it had, after it was down a bit, a bunch of blackfish moved in on it. Um, so, hey, a nice thing about the drone, it can go, it, it gets, you know, I can back up with it. <laughs> and... Uh, the app is decent because you can see the orientation of the drone, um, including the angle. You know, you can, you know, change its tilt and you can, you know, see how it's oriented. That that really helps a lot. That's a nice sea bass. All right, you know what? A, a similar situation here with this piece of bait. And uh, the good thing is when, when he retrieves this bait, uh, I'm going to take a look at it, so we're going to get to see it. But we're, we're dealing with the same kind of thing here where they're looking at it and they're not hitting. And, you know, why is that? Certainly enough. Fit, you know, it's just remarkable to me that they just, especially with all this competition, that nobody just crunches down. I mean, they really are a lot pickier than I would think. This is like 20 seconds later, and, and nobody wants it. It's uh, it's pretty surprising, especially when you get to see what it is when I get it up on the surface. Come on, guys. I whatever. Maybe it's just down to a shell, because there's like four fish angled, like looking right at it. Yeah, pick it up and change it. And I I want to see what that bait looks like. I think it's going to be just a shell. Let's see. Huh. Now that's surprising. All right, give him another nice big... Take give that him, off. Yeah, take that off. They have no interest in that. Yeah, it was. there was still some meat in there, but it was cut just so clean. Uh, they would... It, you know, I think if it had been crushed with pliers, um, they, they would have taken it. This is the next drop. And, you know, there's fish on this immediately, and, and somebody's going to take it now. Uh, it's, um, it wasn't a matter that they don't want to didn't want to feed. They just did not want that piece. The good stuff, there he goes, and there he goes. <laughs> My brother did it right that time. That, that fish was swimming with it, and, and up he went. Um, 
Yeah, I know. Uh, I'll be making sure if I cut it clean like that, make, maybe I'll you know give it a little bit of a crunch. This is interesting. You see these these fish are several feet off the rock. They don't do not mind taking a little hike there. That jig dropped down. It's not good video. We're not going to be able to see much where that is, except that we were able to see, you know, those fish were hanging off the rock, and then they all shot over in that direction when the jig went down. And here's another drop. We'll, we'll drive that drone right in there, get a little closer, get a look. Well, this, this drone's going to be a blast down in Florida in that uh, Gulf water around the reefs and everything. Can't wait to do that. But I always find this, this kind of stuff uh, really educational to be able to watch the behavior. I, I am very surprised that the fish just seem to ignore the presence of the drone, which is great um, You know, because you can really see uh, how it is that, that they'll behave. So. All right, well, if you uh, like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. And, uh, yep, don't forget my new book, Fishing the Edge, Techniques and Tales from Surf, Boat, and Kayak, on johnskinnerfishing.com and on Amazon.